Hello Americans and other friends and subscribers around the world. So, back again we haven't done a morning coffee. For a long time. Yeah, for a long time. Long so time. we thought we'd sit down and do a little morning coffee. Miss Kitty's getting her little station set up out here to yeah. sand some. I, I love when the nice. weather's good so I can do all my work outside. Yes, nice. I've always been, when you live in the elements pretty much, <laughs> we spend most of our time mm -hmm. out here. But, uh, so what were you, you had all? Well, we were talking about talking about living in the elements that was one of the things that we thought about talking about um, the shire homestead boy they've been having a man a rough go of it with mm -hmm. um, ticks and fleas and heat and cold and all Mosquitoes that man and, and they uh, yeah. and we didn't do a whole lot of sharing about that, yeah. our whole process of getting used to you know the weather and the bugs and all, all there, of it, really. There is a huge process to getting yourself used to um, living without climate control. Absolutely. Huge. And yeah, and living that close with the earth. And at the time, you know, when we started doing these videos and bought this piece of property, mm -hmm. um, you know, we tried to show the ups and downs, but I mean, there's so much more yeah. that you know that we didn't yeah. you know the first winter of all of us just huddling around uh, and, and we, we and yeah there's there. you just Fireplace. saw a little glimpse of um our misery and i didn't do long <laughs> you know at that time i was just doing little yeah. most of the videos were like four and five minutes right really short ones. not three hours mm -hmm. <laughs> so what kind of things that you look back now to it's like oh i should have filmed that, that you should have shared yeah, yeah exactly. there was um i had a lot of um increased allergies that got complicated um because anytime you get you know more than just a handful of bug bites the, that amount of um, venom i don't even have to call it venom that gets in your system i mean it it really affects you and if you're not used to it yeah. then it can well and then moving into a creek bottom mm -hmm. um and the, I mean, in our creek bottom, you know, we have all our uh, wild plums and we have our hawthorns, but when we got these, I don't know if you can really see them on there, mm -hmm. but you've no, seen them. All. But I mean, we have hundreds of cottonwoods and the full on cottonwoods that pop. The oh, popcorn, yeah, that's man. Someday and... over time, I mean, I doubt I'll ever. <laughs> I could never all. get rid of all of them, but I would yeah. like to, especially the ones that are leaning over my place and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But. I'd like to kind of weed them, weed I'll, them out, yeah. But we plant. need to replace them because they give us so much shade, yeah. which is a which very Dave, important part during the summertime. Dave yeah. at his place has got a, I think we they're a uh, cotton, cottonless, cottonless cotton. cottonwood. They're a twenty-year tree mm -hmm. that you know just grows up. And I was, he told me to go up there and, like you know, you can uh, propagate. Uh, propagate them. Mm -hmm. And I just man, so. Mm -hmm so much stuff going yeah. on so what busy. we would have to do is propagate those and at the same time plant something that's a little bit more a long term at the yeah. same time so that you can cut down the cottonless cottonwood after the, the yeah, it's, yeah a, it's a it's all a process. long term but the, <laughs> yeah but the plans. adapting to, you know that was ours that's mm -hmm. and then uh and that first uh first cottonwood season which we'd you know we'd moved on here full time the cottonwood thing was already, already happened over. all that right. when we bought the place she, didn't she got a mouse, mouse. Oh. Yeah. um but uh so we'd missed the first you know so then we you know because we moved on to the property 100 percent in october mm -hmm. and then that next the first year of the cottonwood i'm not kidding you man it, it looked like so snow bad. out here um man it was yeah like a foot mm -hmm. of cottonwood and man, I'd come out here and wet down everything. It was insane. And then the last uh, four years since then, we've actually lucked out between wind and rain and have never had the accumulation, you know, that accumulation mm -hmm. like that. We'll see what happens this year. But we leave. Man, we go mushroom hunting yeah. and fishing, man. Pretty much for a week. You know, we, obviously we come home, man. I get up, I wet it down and stuff, and we get the heck on out of here for yeah. a day because there's about a week that's just. And then, man, with this. Because, I mean, I'm still, man, I'm only, I'd say probably 80%. I still am kind of, you know, congested yeah. and all that. But, man, silly yeah. after taking those, I just took another one I've taken. This is the third day, you mm -hmm. know, so I don't even have, like, that severe attack. But I've never had no allergies. And then a lot of people were commenting on the one video, you know, that uh, they'd never had them until they were 50. Mm -hmm. I mean, I turned 50 this year. It's just, like, so yeah. weird. But it, even, uh, um... 
Katie and Tim both have it, and neither one of them have ever had allergies. And what's crazy is the allergy, her and Cara had it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, Kevin's freaking dying. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that if you have had allergies year you after year, it. you recognize the signs as the pollen starts to drop, and you take your antihistamines, you take your allergy medicine, and you don't get the full blown attack. Or Kevin where, D, man. Where you, you should... were like, I don't have allergies. Yeah, and you I got the it was full the flu, blown you know? allergy attack. And um, Benadryl is yeah. the. Kevin D, <laughs> man, has some of the worst allergies I've ever seen of anybody in my life, yeah. man. And yesterday he was. A kid had a feet. Yeah. And we yeah. actually took Kev to um, yeah. a allergen when he hey, was a teenager. <laughs> and they ran the whole gamut of tests on him. And he is not actually, he's an anomaly is what the doctor said. He's not allergic to anything. He just has just severe allergic, allergies. Yeah. yeah. It's just and a, man, a yesterday when he got an, an home from probably. me, he was up putting fences up. You know, he works for the Forest Service. He was up putting... Uh, Fences up all day yesterday, man. That poor kid, he looked like he looked bad. So he's taking the uh, he Allegra. started taking the Allegra last night. So hopefully that helps him today. Yeah. I didn't see him this morning. Yeah. He leaves one early. allergy um, medication doesn't work. Try another. That's it, man. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, back to the elements. We got up on the hay fever yeah. thing. I don't think people want to sit here and talk about hay fever. <laughs> well, we're all dealing with it. It's yeah. springtime. It's, it's falling everywhere. So it's terrible. But yeah. the, back to the Shire homestead. They're not. Mm -hmm. You know they're, oh, they had, they're not giving up, but they're being tested. Yeah, they're sure. definitely being Man, tested. Just hang in there, you guys. Yeah, hang in there. It, it will, it will, get better. Yeah, get better. Yeah, not just your living situation, but the way you can handle it will and get they better. They went back and stayed at a motel for a while, mm -hmm. and I think I've emailed them or you emailed them, and it's yeah. something you might that they might consider. Mm -hmm. I don't know how hard it would be to cut a path in there or anything like that but is to get a camp trailer mm -hmm. to save you on the motels and stuff yeah. is you know i'm pulling old camp trailer up there to retreat you know, to just get away just yeah. for because you have to have some kind of comfort so that you can allow your body to rest oh, if yeah. there's no comfort and you can't rest properly your body can't heal itself yeah. and, and i don't know if we ever showed it i know there's a ton of videos mm -hmm. on it and i don't know if i ever made a video of it but i made a 12 volt out of a styrofoam cooler mm -hmm. made a 12 volt um, swamp, cooler. swamp cooler basically mm -hmm. and you put a thing of ice in there you know and it was just off a 12 volt battery mm -hmm. i don't know if i did that on video yeah. or not but yeah. But there's a zillion. So then you hook the fan up, and it sucks the right, air through the Right, so that's something the they might try because they're really cooler. concerned about the heat, the heat. you know, and down yeah. south, man. That's yeah. the you know that yeah. Yeah, humidity, humidity, and, and all that. Yeah. So, man, I hope they yeah. hang tough. I thought yeah. some prayers are with yeah. them. That's and you can you can easily them. lose your health to the elements like, if you don't take care of yourself. Well, she you was don't. down or still she was. down. Yeah, yeah, she she ended up her kitty email back or yeah email back and forth and stuff. So that's yeah. pretty scary. She thought she was getting tick fever. All tick, yeah, tick fever and all that. And um, I don't know if she's pulling ticks off or she said she had a bunch of tick she bites. She said tick bites. Um, so but I the fleas that too. That, that's the one thing yeah. that we've had about you know because living in this creek bottom, I've pulled a lot of. Ticks oh man, I don't know, man, well over a hundred, man, probably, you know, and I wouldn't even guess, man. Every night I'm pulling them off him when we're yeah. sitting because he. We all three sit in our recliners and watch TV at night. <laughs> and if he don't get his recliner time, he's not that's, happy. That's our comfort. But, uh, yeah, and he, um, man, I pull him off of him every night. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to pause the DVD or whatever and mm -hmm. um, go, you know, burn him, destroy him, man, because mm -hmm. you got to squish him or burn him. Mm -hmm. But uh, but she's saying she had all those tick bites, and I'm wondering if maybe it's uh, deer fleas because the yeah, fleas yeah. are. Um, yeah. The fleas are just as bad oh, as yeah, the ticks. Oh, yeah, the fleas are just as, as, as bad. Man, we had. And the spiders. The I mean, there are so many, many insects. And we had two different kinds? Um, of fleas? fleas. Yeah. We and had the, they eat kitty up. Yeah, the, the teeny tiny little microscopic black fleas and then the larger brown. Mm -hmm. And, and when you live, I mean, like I said, when you live yeah. in the elements, it's all the. And the mosquitoes, yeah. man. The mosquitoes, yeah. man. The, they freak me the heck out yeah. anymore with all the, yeah. you know, diseases and stuff they're carrying. And. I mean, we live yeah. on a creek bottom. And we we're in a, a wild, vegetated the, yeah, area. With, wild yeah, it's loaded with bears and cougars and wolves and coyotes and deer. And skunk. And, and skunks and raccoons. And, and I mean, mice. We have, and yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many. Yeah. What are those little mole, not moles? Voles. No, shrews. Shrews. That's true. Shrews. Yeah, we got shrews. Yeah, shrews. Yeah. 
Um, which the cats, I'll take care of that. And then to the cats, we uh, ended up the um, we can't or we only have well, we gave away three. Mm -hmm. So we've got Kara's, and then we're keeping a yellow um, male male tomcat. We're naming him Tom. Tom. <laughs> He's our so his little name's Tom. Tom, little yellow ones. We'll have to show him. Uh, I thought about it. I brought him out. He's a cute little fella. Yeah, <laughs> but he's, I think Carl our, thinks he's going to be huge. Yeah, so. in our community, cats are just loved and everybody yeah. loves getting a um, new cat. And they just love, and Lilo, which is the mom cat, yeah. she, uh, she's a wonderful the, mom. She's got so many colors and the, mm -hmm. she puts out, you know, the cats are just beautiful, beautiful amazing. Yeah kids because we were going to get her fixed and uh we already have people wanting if she has the kittens next again letter. yeah so yeah. um yeah. might let her do but we yeah. will eventually get her yeah get her fixed fixed but man she's such yeah. a good see mom. how see how her kitten because yeah. we kept one of her kittens from the last letter and then we're keeping a, a tomcat to, yeah. to try to keep uh because man when she does go in heat not only does she make beautiful kittens but man she uh them toms like her <laughs> a lot <laughs> we have one that i've only ever seen him once and i'm not kidding he stands almost as tall as kai mm -hmm. man i swear i think he's part bobcat man he's yeah. got this little bobtail and stuff man the first time i seen him i thought Very it was bobcat. wide yeah mm -hmm. but he was coming around man he is cool i don't know where he came from or where he went but man he's cool Didn't you sell some no it was a spam oh. But it's so that, and uh, there's other. You had quite a few, few things when you said, "Let's do." A... Well, we were talking about um, the things that we didn't film, our struggles when we moved onto the property. We did go up. Uh, I forgot the camera. We went up mushroom hunting last, last night. night, and uh, TNT man is. He is a you know, mushroom hunter. which I mean, hunter. he's been mushroom hunting since he's in Katie Joe's mm -hmm. belly. You know, and I mushroom hunted young, but not as young as him, and he. Uh, then me and him, you know, me and TNT are always hand in hand. Well, he don't want to hold Bumpa's hand now. He's got his walking stick. But he, uh, man, he found, and they were right there. I didn't see him at all, man. And he found a patch of three and then that I didn't even see. And then he found two completely, 100% on his own. And then we're walking along. And Kitty even got to see it. Yes. It was hilarious, so man. Cute. We're walking along kind of on a little side hill above this creek. And, man, he turns, he goes to step, and he turns his foot sideways and just plops right on his butt. And then he looks over and he points at it and he's all, oh, oh, what'd you say? Uh, um, That's not a mushroom. Yeah. Or... yeah, I can't remember what it, man, it was so <laughs> funny, man. But he went to step on it and he moved it. It was actually yep. a chunk of wood yep. and he's like, oh, that not one. <laughs> that not one. That not one. He's so freaking amazing. Yeah, it was fun. We thought we'd also show uh, some of the mm -hmm. knives. I'll tell you a little thing about this one. This one, I started making, it was a lot wider. I started making, and uh, like I said, man, when I'm making knives, I kind of go, you know, the knife becomes and goes, right. you know, becomes itself, which just was a little thinner metal than I wanted to use, but I have a a friend that, uh, you know, has already paid for a custom, and they're, Mike is his yeah, name. Mike, and he's wanting to, you know, I think he's wanting like a bush cut, he won't even tell me what, he just wants a, you know, one that I would really like. And but I probably, when this is done, I might, yeah, he wants a sportsman's knife, which this is more of a fillet. It turned yeah. out to be more, it didn't it start a off. A little huh? bit of yeah, a flex. Yeah, it's got a little bit of yeah, flex. Bit of so I'll probably, when it's done, send him a picture to see, um, you know, if it's, you know, I just, you just never told me exactly what kind of knife, you know, but it's, like I said, it started off more as a bushcraft, more, it started off more like this, but turned into this, and which is actually a dang nice, uh, it's going to be a nice Filet fishing knife. I mean, gut, you know, whatever you want to use it for, kitchen knife, whatever. Mm -hmm. I thought we'd show a little three band, that one. This one yeah. is going to be wood burned with my name yep. on it. I made that one especially for Miss That's Kitty. Be my mushroom hunting knife. And it's funny because all these other ones are farther behind being done than yours. Yeah, mine's just about done. <laughs> so this one, it actually turned out uh, pretty nice. So that is Miss Kitty's, and that one will not. Mm -hmm. Be for sale. Mm -hmm. And then we got a another big old crow's beak, which is a little similar to hers. And then this little raven beak, smaller raven beak. Another little raven beak. And this we one. All raven beaks. We, oh, you were doing that because you were. He he was. Gave me the choice. 
He, that's Brian, why they're Brian, all the same yeah. basic st kind of blade. Because I said I wanted a raven beak blade. Right. That's why they're all the same blade. Yeah. Well, I was doing that, okay. and then, uh, uh, well, this was the first one I made for you, and mm -hmm. you know, making you mm -hmm. film and, you and did all right. that stuff. Yeah. 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 yeah but then this one, man, I had this little piece of brass I hadn't ever played done with, any yeah. yeah that I played with and put on there Whoa. and it turned out pretty cute pretty cute so that's not really a raven beak but no it's kind of a new uh, yeah, start off with a raven beak but the way that the hump yeah. was going I just like I said man once I when I start making them and pounding them and grinding them and all the process man they uh you know man I just go into yeah. uh, you know, I always when I make my twig furniture, I always say I become one with the twig, and then yeah, I become yeah. one with the metal and all. I just go, it wants to you go know, they it. make themselves. I just kind of go along with it, and I'll have an idea, mm -hmm. you know, and then it don't really turn out like mm -hmm. I think. But I mean, still, man, that's gonna be a beautiful, uh, you know. So these are all be on the IdahoHillbilly.com. Yeah. If you well, want. not all of them. There's a couple there that are. Oh yeah. I'm yeah, <laughs> exactly. putting yours on first. No, you are not. <laughs> Stay away from my knife. <laughs> yep. So those will be on. Uh, the Idaho Hill. And yep, the it'll Idaho be on by, by the time yep. this video is on. And then, uh, still, man, I got a. If you're wanting a, um, I actually started pounding on one the other day. Mm -hmm. um, railroad spike knife. If you're wanting a railroad spike knife, you got to go to IdahoHillbilly.com. You know, or drop us a line. Yeah, we whatever. haven't. And make talked, sure you check out. Yeah, we haven't talked much com. about that website for several videos, but it's still it's still going. Yeah, 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 man, we actually. Yeah. I've got a lot yeah. of pictures to add um, from our mushroom hunts yeah. and also some. Um, and friends we've been that busy, and then Mike's been. That I gotta get put on. Mike's been real busy. And, yeah, yeah, he yeah, works on other projects. Yeah, it's not yeah. like yeah. If our. Yeah, website he doesn't is, live for our website. No, <laughs> no. Dang it, Mike. No. <laughs> but no. so we actually, yeah, we. uh we were supposed to actually sit, sit yeah because we were he had started working on like a storefront type thing where we could um have more of a storefront instead of just like the exclusive offers and the the first um software for the store that he found and we kind of tested a little bit just wasn't a right fit for what we were doing or anything and um we just i him and i just had a little short conversation on email right i think we're just gonna set that aside he's already taken it off the website and go revisit again in the fall oh, okay. yeah so i mean and then he's we've been i mean we're just <clears throat> slamming then me getting you know that yeah i mean yeah. i got i worked on <clears throat> knives when i could behind on everything everything man yeah. and i mean ebay everything everything man. it uh mm -hmm. there was two days that i mean i was useless what? yeah completely, completely useless. useless i'd started yeah. the knives and then the next day, man, I was down. And then I thought, oh, no, because I was out there because I, I kept, wear a mask. I kept making them go mushroom hunting with me, too, during the whole <laughs> Yeah, well, that's, that helps. Help. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. heal, that's healing time. But uh, the one day I was out there, and I had the – actually, I didn't. I didn't have the fans and stuff on, and I was sanding um, on the big sander. Yeah, I and I knew better. I should have been uh, – because I always wear a mask. And didn't have my mask on. You just didn't on. feel like putting no, it on. No, I just wasn't doing well. And I was doing, you know, two or three different things and in my zone and all that. And so I thought that that was uh, the cause of your yeah, the cause of my congestion. Between that and then I was moving all the mulch stuff. I told yeah. Kitty, oh, I think I caught some weird I'm, fungus out there. Yeah, or I'm breathing mold. Oh, I'm breathing mold. I'm dying. Yeah. So, so did you touch everything you wanted to touch. Was there more? Oh, I think that was... That it. We just hadn't yeah. done a sit down. We'll, uh, like I said, I forgot the camera up there mushroom hunting. Um, probably going to go and check a patch tonight. Mm -hmm. The garden is doing great. We yes. lost we all of our okra. Yep, so we're going to plant. We should, we looked, we should have enough time, so we're just going to plant the seeds in the ground, yeah. see if they go. Our beans yeah. and peas and uh, are just Rocking. We'll have to do a deal. And then we got tomatoes. You can't see them on here, but right here we got uh, tomato plants going here. We got 20 more, to more plant, in, the in there that are ready. Seed. We're going to plant them today or and later peppers. this afternoon. Got and peppers. A lot of peppers to plant. I got to haul some Starts. more dirt and mm -hmm. chips and then we'll make a couple more beds and stuff. Yeah. But Zucchini is doing great. Everything, man. It's tis the season but man we're getting weird and i've noticed on you know i haven't been able to catch much videos and while i was sick man i did go through and read and i tried to yeah. you know like or put the you know a heart and stuff i read everybody's 
comments. If I didn't get back to you, man, I'm sorry. I've gotten so mad. I went to punch on there yesterday, and Miss Kitty told me I was getting grumpy because I was like, man, I got five pages of comments to... You need to help me. <laughs> and she didn't. And I said, I'm I'm cooking dinner. <laughs> so what do you want? I did go through, but we do read them all. Um, hopefully we can get back into keeping up. And then I haven't had a lot of time to watch um, a lot of videos and stuff. And I've missed my bearded picker show yeah. both times this yeah. week. There's one right there. And that um, video that we Intense. showed down in the creek bottom with all the greenery and and, and I asked people to help me identify that plant. Um, I think that uh, my son and I were able to identify it correctly. I'm going to wait until it goes into full bloom. Tick? Yep. But I think it's a honeysuckle. But it's a, an smell. odd um, yeah. variety of it because it's just two two blossoms together, not a clump of them. Usually the oh, honeysuckle out there? is this. Oh. I was yeah, thinking about the ticket. No, let's um, say goodbye. <laughs> All right. So, so, hopefully it'll take you long. I don't know. Uh, I was actually, we were supposed to go down and uh, Saturdays they, in Boise, they have the world's largest yard sales, like mm -hmm. they call it. Yeah. And we were going to go down and go to that with my mom, which then I had to tell, well, I didn't even know if I'd be feeling better. And I thought I was dying. Mm -hmm. So we ended up not, or kind of counsel and going with that. So yeah. I'm sorry about that, Ma. Yeah, sorry. I really wanted really to go wanted down, to. but now with uh, being behind, even though I'm feeling a little better, I yeah. And I mean, we're behind on money, we're behind on all that. So I've got to, I got to stay here and work. So might run around to a couple, locals. couple of locals, you know, if we can Hi. see some sales up the road here or something like that. But for the most part, man, we're just gonna work and. Then of course go mushroom hunting in the evening. That's what took them away. So. Yeah. Good Lord willing, and the creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow.